Well, listen up parents and students, standardized testing is still important for college admissions. Yeah, that's what we're hearing now. That's according to a test prep specialist who spoke to us and who says families are leaving money on the table. Despite some universities adopting test optional policies for admission, exams like the SAT and ACT remain valuable, according to test prep specialist Sean Patel. There are three major reasons parents and students should still take these exams. First, many universities are reinstating standardized testing requirements. Top universities like Harvard, Yale, MIT. Second, even at test optional schools, students with test scores have higher acceptance rates. It's two to three times higher. And finally, billions of dollars in scholarships are awarded based on test scores. And if your student doesn't have a test score, they often won't be eligible for these scholarships. Patel started out average, but through hundreds of hours of self-study, achieved a perfect SAT score. And that perfect SAT score opened up a world of opportunities for me. I got into some of the nation's top universities. I got a half a million dollars in college scholarships. I even got to meet the president of the United States. His company PrepExpert.com offers free and paid courses based on testing techniques. For the reading sections of the SAT or the ACT, you want to avoid the word always. That's never going to be in the right answer choice because it's too extreme. For the writing section, he says stay away from the word being. B-E-I-N-G. The reason it's incorrect is because it creates passive voice rather than active voice. Patel also stresses the importance of using official test questions from the College Board and ACT Inc. and building stamina by taking full-length practice exams regularly. They don't have test anxiety. They know what to expect. They can finish sections on time. He recommends prepping 6 to 12 weeks before your exam and consider taking the PSAT. Performing well on that test can qualify you for National Merit Scholarships. Now, the SAT is seeing some major changes this year, shifting from paper-based to a digital format. Patel offers more tips on how to tackle the new test in its new format on the WVRC News app.